Gillespie syndrome, also called aniridia, cerebellar ataxia, and mental deficiency, is a rare genetic disorder. The disorder is characterized by partial aniridia, meaning that part of the iris is missing, ataxia, motor and coordination problems, and, in most cases, intellectual disability. It is heterogeneous, inherited in either an autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive manner. Gillespie syndrome was first described by American ophthalmologist Frederick Gillespie in 1965. Clinical Features The combination of muscular hypotonia and fixed dilated pupils in infancy is suspicious of Gillespie syndrome. Early onset partial aniridia, cerebellar ataxia, and mental retardation are hallmark of syndrome. The iris abnormality is specific and seems pathognomonic of Gillespie syndrome. The aniridia consisting of a superior coloboma and inferior iris hypoplasia, fovea macular dysplasia. Atypical Gillespie syndrome associated with bilateral ptosis, exotropia, corr ectopia, iris hypoplasia, anterior capsular lens opacities, foveal hypoplasia, retinal vascular tortuosity, and retinal hypopigmentation. Neurological signs AR nystagmus, mild craniofacial asymmetry, axial hypotonia, developmental delay, and mild mental retardation. Marion P. did not support the prevailing view of a global mental retardation as a cardinal feature of Gillespie syndrome but primarily reflects cerebellar-induced neurobehavioral dysfunctions following disruption of the cerebrocerebellar anatomical circuitry that closely resembles the cerebellar cognitive and affective syndrome, CECAS. Congenital pulmonary stenosis and helix dysplasia can be associated. Genetics Gillespie syndrome is a heterogeneous disorder and can be inherited in either an autosomal dominant or recessive manner. Autosomal dominant inheritance indicates that the defective gene responsible for a disorder is located on an autosome, and only one copy of the gene is sufficient to cause the disorder, when inherited from a parent who has the disorder. Autosomal recessive inheritance means the defective gene responsible for the disorder is located on an autosome, but two copies of the defective gene, one inherited from each parent, are required in order to be born with the disorder. The parents of an individual with an autosomal recessive disorder both carry one copy of the defective gene, but usually do not experience any signs or symptoms of the disorder. PAX6 gene analysis can also be helpful to distinguish between autosomal dominant aniridia and Gillespie syndrome. However atypical Gillespie syndrome is associated mutation with PAX6 gene. To elucidate the underlying genetic defects karyotyping and the search for de novo translocations especially of chromosome X and 11 should be performed. Diagnosis Brain MRI shows vermis atrophy or hypoplasic. Cerebral and cerebellar atrophy with white matter changes in some cases. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.